Hello, I'm Jeff the Zoo Guy, and today I am with my buddy Allegro. Allegro is a three banded or southern armadillo from South America. They're called so because they have three bands. One, two, three. This guy is special. He's got an extra half a band. Not sure why that is, but makes him special in my eyes. Now, the difference between this guy and the armadillo that is native here in the United States, places like Texas and Florida, those guys are called nine banded armadillos, so they're quite a bit bigger. What makes this guy different, not only is he smaller, but he is the only armadillo that can roll up into a complete ball. So when he's really scared, he can actually tuck his head and his tail into a complete ball that protects him from predators. You can literally roll this guy on the ground. That's how tight that ball is. Now, as I put him down here, I want you to notice how prehistoric this guy is. They are literally living dinosaurs, been around for millions of years, and I think they still look like a dinosaur. But as he walks, I want you to notice how he's keeps that nose close to the ground. He actually utilizes that nose to find food because armadillos are almost blind, they can't see, they're nearly deaf, and so they have to rely on their nose to find their food. And these guys are related to, arm to uh, anteaters, and so obviously they're gonna eat things like ants and worms and grubs and all that kind of good stuff, which makes them an insectivore. Well, as he actually walks around and uses that nose, he's got another sense that he uses, touch. You may notice this guy has little fur coming out of the side of his shell right here. That's almost like a sensory fur. Just like the whiskers on a cat, he can actually use that fur to feel around to let him know what's around his environment. And that's exactly what he's doing right now as he burrows through this grass looking for some good food to eat. Now, what I love about armadillos is the fact that they are the only animal besides human beings that can carry leprosy. Yeah. This guy doesn't have it, so no need to worry. But the point is, they are the only animal other than us that can carry leprosy. I just think that's a pretty cool little fact. Now, when these guys are born, they're born small. And these guys are about the size of a golf ball when they're born. Their shell is actually very soft. But the armadillos that we have here in Florida, they actually always have quadruplets, no matter what. Always four babies. They're always identical twins, either all males or all females. So look out for these armadillos because I think they're awesome, literally living dinosaurs. You gotta love them. I gotta thank Tampa's Lowry Park Zoo for the use of this unbelievably primitive, cool animal. Until next time, I will see you at the zoo.